one. It's an older one. Um, but it's all brand new. I don't know if it's been flown, but nice and nice and new. So I'm going to fix that. thing is the motors and the wings. I'm going to take off the stickers. I haven't found a good way to take off the stickers other than just pull them off. But we're going to take off the stickers. We're going to put Minwax on it to protect it. And the motors I'm going to use are brand new Emax motors. I think it's 2207. 2207, six inch prop. Um, I'm using these, which are fuel tanks from an F16. They were on sale. Like you were $2.99 for a pair of them. $3. So I bought these and we're going to mount the, the motors in there like that. The way I mount my motors I got these at the dollar store. It's a race car wooden model. But pieces of wood are good, but the the wheel. perfect size for that and that's going to go inside like there and then this will go like this and that's it but first I take the stickers off put this on poly coat and then mount it so we'll get back to you when that happens. Okay, so here's the parts we're building for the new twin aeroscope. And this is how they're going together. This is one already cut down. This is the one I was going for. This is cut down a little bit. This is this screw to this wheel here you can see that they're not drilling holes very well which is a fine because i'm using new motors here and these motors are so much better than the old ones one reason is the shaft doesn't stick past the wood here it's up in there and there's no circlip on the end that goes in here there's a hole cut in here goes this way. Alright. For the wing. If we go underneath. Like so. And be lined up and everything here. You can see there's a line. And line here. And we're using sandpaper show everything up. Those are the pieces before it gets put together. I'm going to have to cut this one out of course. It's just measured. Nothing, nothing complicated. Now this was the first the wing from the first one I built. And you can see how I did that. And cut the thing right here. But uh, this is a measuring here get how far I kind of want this to stick out here. So there you go. That's the pieces to the wing. All right, and this will be glued, hot glue in here. Then a foam tack around here. All right, people wonder why I love foam tack. What is foam tack? 
foam tac is basically like a plastic model oil. It has a solvent in it that dissolves the foam. So when you use this in glue foam to foam, or wood to foam, it's dissolving the foam around it and sticking and then drying. And you get basically a solid glue. You can't glue nothing else with it but foam. Um, but I can use this like a sculpture, almost. Put that on there, see the line lines up, get it all lined up nice and sand a little bit, fill it. There we go. That's the start of the Twin Arrow Scout. Mm -hmm. The progress so far on the Twin Aero Scout. Well, that is everything in there. We got a channel cut for the wires. Just gotta do some soldering. And then this will go in like this. And wires will come down like that. Now, so we got it on here, mold it in here, put a piece of tape to cover the hole, that way the glue won't get in there and muck up my motor. But that's about ready to go on. This is the ESC we're going to be using. You can see our beautiful AeroScout brand new fuselage. And this is an old one, you can see it's even got the shelf, but that's going to have to come out. In order to get our flight controller in, that's the flight control all put together ready. And the VTX for the FPV will go in. And here's a GPS that'll go in up here. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to cut that down, take out that thing right there. Stickers are going to come off. And then this is going to be cut. I'm going to cut this down here and pull it off. And we're going to put the ESC in here and the VTX in there. But that's almost ready to go for that part of the twin aeroscope. All right. All right, we're at the field, we're ready to go. Um, we're gonna test the control surfaces, make sure they go in the right direction. And then we're gonna take off, and if everything's fine, we're gonna auto-tune. Um, on a side note, if you notice the track here, it's all just been redone, nice and pretty. And I felt kind of bad about flying off of it, but I got here this morning and there's homeless people who spent the night on the track. So uh, I don't feel so bad about flying off of it. But anyways, if you watch at the end, when I'm coming in for a landing, you'll see me avoid some people who are on the track. Because it's like 5.30 on Sunday, Saturday morning. And we're flying. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll make more videos.
Well, I can't rock, 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 rock. Well, I can't rock, 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 or even roll. Or play the sugar guitar to save my soul. Go. Cool. 